In this video, we will show you the design, the simulation and the implementation of a control system for the Pirate Mambo Mini Drone using MATLAB and Simulink. This drone has on board many sensors, an inertial measurement unit composed by a triaxial accelerometer and gyroscope, a pressure sensor and, at the bottom of the vehicle, an ultrasonic sensor and a camera. In this project, we used an example from the Aerospace Blockset to simulate the dynamics of the drone. It contains the blocks to simulate the drone dynamics with linear and nonlinear models, a block that simulates environment and sensor measurement that can consider the noise of the sensors, a block to implement a control strategy and one to generate the references for the control system. At the end, a visualization block that can generate a 3D fly simulation of the drone. Our task was to design inside the flight control system the control strategy that consists of the realization of the state estimator and the control system. The estimator subsystem inputs are the signals from the sensors to estimate the altitude and attitude of the vehicle. The data from sensors are acquired every 5 milliseconds. Before processing signals, there is a calibration step that consists by evaluating the average of 400 samples in the first two seconds. To reduce the noises of the sensors and have an accurate esteem of the attitude, we use the complementary filter. This kind of filter merges the data from accelerometer and gyroscope by using a first-order low-pass filter and high-pass filter. To reduce the noises of the sensors and have an accurate esteem of the altitude, we used another complementary filter. This filter merges the data from pressure sensor and accelerometer by using a second-order low-pass filter and a high-pass filter. A quadcopter has six degrees of freedom. From the knowledge of the mathematical model, we were able to tune four pit controllers through the MATLAB to pit tuner toolbox. We used one pit for each degree of freedom of attitude, that are the roll, pitch and yaw angles. The last pit controller was used for altitude control. To validate the efficiency of the designed control system, we used the 3D simulation. Achieved the overing of the drone, we decided to drive it changing online the input references of the control system.